All right, let's jump into it. I am starting out with towel dried hair and I am spraying some of that color while serum for frizz control. And then I also added some heat protective spray, but I honestly don't even want to show the product because I have grown to absolutely hate it, but it's the only thing I have at the moment and I like to finish a product. So comb through your hair as well. So you evenly distribute the product. Then I'm going to section my hair off to four sections, the Mohawk section, then one by my eyebrows and then a section right above my ears. Have your hair rollers ready, have everything in front of you so it's just easy to grab and roll. I'm only using the gray ones today because I want a lot of volume and like bigger curls. Then I have these clippers as well. I got a bunch of these on Amazon. I absolutely love them. I bought the new Dyson Airwrap. I'm so excited for that one. But today we're going to be using an affordable hair dryer, which is the One Step Hair Dryer by Revlon. Today I'm starting with my Mohawk section just to get all of that out of the way. And it's the hardest part. So I just want to get that over with if I'm being completely honest. So start drying your hair front and back. Alternate between the two. This will smoothen out the hair and make it way shiny. Shinier. Make sure the whole piece is dry before you start like styling it. Then for the styling part, place the tool behind the piece of hair and slowly roll it backwards. And then roll it down, let it sit there for a few seconds, and then roll it out like this. Thank God we have a visual, guys. Then quickly get your hair roller. I like to comb the section out with the roller so that it's nice and smooth. Then I roll it down in a diagonal direction. This will give you the most volume at the crown of your head. Then clip the rollers for it to stay in place. Now I'm going to be redoing that onto the middle part. I always turn the device off while I put the rollers in, of course. I just want to put that in there in case anyone wonders. I'm only using the second setting, which is the warm setting. Do not, I repeat, do not use the third setting. That is way too hot and too intense and it's unnecessary in my opinion. If you know, you know. If you have the tool, you know. Now, same thing here with the bang section, the most important piece throughout this process, no pressure. Dry it front, back, and even side to side. That will get rid of this awkward split in the middle that can sometimes make your bangs look a little bit uneven when you style it. So doing this will get rid of that. My first few tries with these rollers did not go well. Like, it looked so easy when everyone else did it, but practice makes perfect, guys. And there are so many ways to roll your hair and achieving different looks, but that is for a whole nother video. Now, one thing to note is that you shouldn't place your clips in front like this because that will make the piece crease. Now the rest of your hair is going to be easy peasy lemon squeezy okay once you get that mohawk section out of the way you're good <laughs> your arms won't get tired at least so brushing through the hair as per usual and then i'm going to style the piece inwards towards my face so i roll up to get the whole piece a little bit warm and then i release it down like this first and then i roll it inwards to prevent any tangles sometimes it can get really messy with these brushes i know the higher you direct the hair for the rollers, the more volume you are going to get by the roots. If you just want a cute bend at the ends, then you don't even need to bring the rollers up to your roots. But I want big hair today. I just also want to clarify that this will look completely different on you if you don't have any layers in your hair. To achieve like the ultimate blowout look, you do have to have some sort of layers in my opinion or else it will just look a little bit dull and you'll be doing a lot of work for nothing. For my next section, to make it even easier, section all of it from the start so that you know how many rollers you will need. Rule of thumb is that you should always take a section as big as your roller, so kind of like the same length and width, if that makes sense. And I'm just going to continue on with the rest of my hair. 
East Coast always in me, Commonwealth little junk, getting love from my city. Yeah, I roll call for the DMV. In my own lane, you could still ride with me. Yeah. No one knows I made mistakes. You won't end, but it's too late. I don't need your support just to know I'm important. But I won't ever sell myself short, cause I know you'll see me on the come up. Big girl with big dreams and big drip. Talk is cheap, but please dare me to run up. I'ma put my money where my mouth is. Talk a good game, I'm my alpha babe. Even on my worst days, still an alpha babe. Standing next to me, you gotta be an alpha babe. There we go. Now everything is staying put for about 45 minutes. During this time, you can do your makeup, watch TV, scroll TikTok, the list goes on and on and on. Now I'm back and I also changed just for you. Now taking these rollers out very gently like this and then kind of roll it at the ends just to brush them out so that they look nice and smooth. Sometimes you have to redirect the hair just a little bit and kind of like lead the way if you feel like the curl is not bending the way that it should. Oh, look at that volume. Oh my God, I got excited. My favorite but most nerve-wracking part, the bangs. Let's see how they turned out. It just needs some love, okay? Trust the process. Then grab a hairbrush and gently brush everything out until you get the results that you want. Play around with it and let it truly set. Once you are done, spray with hairspray and you are good to go. I'm not gonna do that today because I am actually filming another video right after this. But this is the final result and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful in any way, shape or form. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section and I will see you in my next one. Bye.